Yes, good evening and welcome to the show, Speak Your Mind. Uh, we changed things up a bit here tonight and uh, we're going to start by having a quick introduction. As you know, my name up there, uh, Richard Courtney De Castro. I'm going to be a host in the show. And I have with me a guest tonight who is Sam Henry and he's going to be uh, co-hosting here with me tonight. Uh, we're going to interact with the community as usual. We're going to find out from our viewers out there how the new year has been so far and probably talk a bit about the new year resolutions that they've made so far and whether or not they're going to be able to uh, live up to those expectations that they yep. set for themselves. We're going to also touch on some current issues that are happening in this community. As usual, we are the, the eyes and ears of the community. We are um, forever trying to keep a, a, a handle on what's happening in the community and, and have a dialogue with people in the community about various things, what's happening in the community and what's happening with the people in the community. So I'm going to start out very quickly by um, asking my co-host to say goodnight to our viewers out there and to introduce himself shortly. So go ahead, Sam, go ahead and introduce yourself. Thank you, Courtney, thank you very much. Good evening mm -hmm. to the uh, viewing audience. My name is Julio Sam Henry. I'm sure most of you out there listening right now and, and watching this program knows me. Um, I run a private business, taxi operator in the BVI, involved uh, very heavily in, in tourism. So I'm, I'm delighted to be here. Um, I believe that this next year, God's willing, is going to be a very stimulating and encouraging show. Um, the show still speak your mind. We want you to be able to call in and voice your concern and your opinion on what's happening in the community. And this is the way you can do it without fear. So speak your mind, but speak it responsibly. Speak it with respect. Um, whenever you call, make sure we have enough information that we can support your, your argument. So welcome to the show. Welcome to the new year. As my co-host said, um, we're going to be touching on a variety of things tonight. Uh, sure, it's, it's going to be interesting for some of you. Some of you definitely want to call in, tune in, call somebody, and tell somebody to look in. Because what we're about to talk about might be affecting them. And we want to know how they're feeling. So, welcome again. Well, thank you for that, <coughs> Sam. Uh, and that's, that's good that we, we encourage people to <coughs> tell somebody else about the show. And of course, you know, we're always here for the community and for issues that affect the community from Annie Gatta to Josh Van Dyke. Um, one of the things I was talking with you a little bit before we started was on infrastructure development. I noticed there are a number of, of uh, ongoing infrastructure developments that would affect us at some point. I noticed that we're, we're, um, we're fixing some packing lots. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they, they seem to be going well to me. I mm -hmm. heard some criticism, but to me, they seem to be going well. I just passed by the, uh, the roundabout this evening, and I saw them fixing that area around the market area. Mm -hmm. And that has been like that for some time. Yeah. And that, to me, might be a good relief for the people that work in that area when Monday comes around and mm -hmm. they're able to pack there properly. Yeah. The one down at the hospital, I understand that it's taking a while to get it completed, but Why is I, that? I am one of the people who believe that you should do something properly, even if it takes a little bit longer, mm -hmm. rather mm -hmm. than doing the same thing over and over again. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're going to touch a little bit on the road, the main road, what I like to call the main road from East End to West End. Yes. And yes. I, I think that that... That's that's a touching one for that, me. That's a touching one for you because yes, of your I drive, business. I, 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 yes. I, I can understand. And I, yes. I, really, I really would like to make a plea for the people who use the road on a regular basis that, mm -hmm. they, you know, we, we, we need a little relief. Yeah. You know, a little yeah. relief. Um, the bumpiness, the dodging from one side yes. to another side. And there's some people in this community who, although they know their side has a problem, 
they would go over on, on, on your side. Yeah. On yeah. my side. Yeah. And, and almost cause an accident rather than stand aside and just wait, wait a couple of seconds. Well, you know, when, when, I look at, when I look at some of the roadways, and I can uh, maybe call out a few of those areas, mm -hmm. Parakeeta Bay, yes. before you get to um, Wilkes Hussles Point. East, Wilkes, Wilkes Point, Point. Yeah. you know, East then in East front then. of right way. In front of right way. You know, it, it's, it's mm -hmm. you know, Major Bay. Major it's Bay. It's a major one. Just yeah. tonight again, that caught me yeah. by surprise. Even yeah. though I know it's there, I'm still surprised that, you know, public work haven't even patched up those areas. So yeah. I think we can, I think there's some things we could do immediately. So I, I know the Minister of Communication and Work is on it. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm giving him another month. Yeah. At least mm -hmm. to maybe just call public work and say, go just go patch up some of those areas. Right. Um, the parking lot, I think it's necessary. Sam, not to not to forget too that we're in the in the tourist season. Yeah. yeah. And w we may be able to put up with it as citizens, but remember that the false impression mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for a tourist <laughs> is, is also the experience that they experience in the in the taxi association. Area. Yeah. You know, I mean, when you drive and you on your tour or you you, you take a ride on the Ridge Road for the first time, that is what you remember yes, about yes. your experience. Yeah. Well, most and of the most of the tourists I drive, yeah, you know, they're, they're very comfortable with me driving them. Yeah. But if they had to drive themselves, there would be a different, be a different story. Yeah. Some of them say, you know, but some of it is will come out and tell Some you. of it is very easy to correct, though. You you would. Yeah, agree. I, I agree. It's a, it's I agree. A, it's a, a little slip on the side that mm. needs fixing properly, mm -hmm. or it's a pothole that hasn't been. Well, repaired. one of the things one. Of the things in addition to fixing those potholes I would like to see addressed immediately mm -hmm. the road to West End yeah. is a problem at night right. it's a problem when you leave Coxseat yeah. when you leave Parkwood Pond and you don't see and no you light. highway and you don't see any light you don't see any light you again know. until you reach West End exactly Proper. I think we need to have um, indicators on the side of the road on the edge of the road right. the last administration I used to ask the guy who put the stuff down what is it going to take? He said, nobody hasn't died yet. We shouldn't have to get to that point. Mm -hmm. Nobody should have to die before we can address these simple things. Right. You know, so I would definitely like to see that area addressed. Mm -hmm. Maybe a few more lights. The solar lights, I think, was working fine. Yeah, they give people a sense of gauge while they're driving. I think so, too. Um, but they're definitely also, also, the roads. They're also green. You know, everybody yeah. talking about green technology. Yeah. And they're also Absolutely. green. Once you put them up, the little yeah. or no maintenance. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. and, uh, and no, no bill from the corporation to the yeah. government. Yeah. So definitely, folks, Here's an opportunity. We just touch on one thing, infrastructure. Mm -hmm. You know, with, with the tourist season right in front of us, mm -hmm. a lot of our tourists are, are dodging potholes and they're trying to maneuver themselves around the island. Um, Mr. Minister, we need to uh, try to see what we can do to rectify that. Mm -hmm. Courtney, also in addition to some of that, I, I definitely want to touch on a little bit of some of the uh, issues in the paper. Okay. Um, for example, the. Um, the, the issue with the school, the slogan of the school, okay. the mighty Scatliff. Yeah. Um, I, I went to high school in New York, mm -hmm. and the building that I went to, it's a very big building. It's eight floors. Mm -hmm. It had over 1,000, 2,000 students. Okay. And uh, we had a big slogan on the outside of the building, but the name of the school was John F. Kennedy High School. Okay. And the football team, the track team, they all had slogans, and all around the building you can see yes. those slogans for those teams representing the mascot of the, of the, the of different the school. sports yeah. in the school. Mm -hmm. And it, it worked well because it created a huge rivalry, it created it, this camaraderie. It, it, it motivates, it, it the, motivates student. the students. Yeah. So I know a lot of people from talking to people to the community, mm -hmm. especially some of the parents that, that have kids that go to those school, that school, mm -hmm. um, were well, a bit upset. Mm -hmm. So we want to give the people opportunity to vent, to ex, you know, express themselves, um, tell sure. us what they think about that. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. it, it, it's something that definitely needs to be talked about. Yes. Well, well, Sam. One of the one of the things I think that uh, I have endeavored to do in this community is to <coughs> open dialogue with people because I think by speaking, by talking, I get to know your point of view. You and I talk on a, a number of issues, mm -hmm. and um, the only way you can know how I feel about things is if you. Tell me how you feel about exactly. things, and I, and I can exactly. then tell you my point of view. And I think that is something that we are lacking still mm -hmm. in our community that we need to talk more about. <clears throat> well, I, I'll tell you something that I, I'm, I'm going to encourage the, the people who are listening and watching this show tonight. Mm -hmm. When we leave this show, 
coming to you. We're gonna have an we're gonna provide an opportunity for the audience to not just watch the show and then wait another week. Mm -hmm. What we want to do is provide maybe a blog yeah. or a, a means, whether it's an email address that people can write mm -hmm. and send in their comments, their mm -hmm. concerns, mm -hmm. and what we can do is help people to express themselves. Yeah. You understand? By collecting that information for people, mm -hmm. we can pass that information on to the politicians, mm -hmm. to the, the representatives, mm -hmm. to the different people who are responsible, the police department, whoever it is. Mm -hmm. Whatever the majority of those complaints come in from, we can pass that information on, help people to be able to get quicker results. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think it's something, folks stay tuned. That's something we're gonna try to bring to you. Mm -hmm. It's not just speak your mind on, on uh, on, on Saturdays and then you hear one thing and that's it no you know what I mean so <clears throat> we're gonna bring that mm -hmm. in, 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 in addition to that uh, <clears throat> thing we, we have some other topics that we're gonna um, that we're gonna talk on and we're gonna you know bring them up we're also gonna talk a little bit on some regional issues mm -hmm. I was <clears throat> I was going to say um, definitely to the viewers out there especially my my colleagues who hail from Jamaica, that uh, Portia Simpson is now the new premier in that country. And one of the things she's going to be doing is she's going to be cutting loose from the British government completely for the first yeah. time. And, and yeah. this is the 50th anniversary of the, yeah. of, uh, of the independence yeah. of Jamaica. Okay. So it's a fitting time. So after she's going to become years, a republic. After, yes, but okay. after 50 years, under the the the, um, the the British Commonwealth system, mm -hmm. although you're independent, you're still a member of the Commonwealth mm -hmm. yes. of Nations. And uh, it, I guess, in the opinion of, uh, of of persons in her party, it, it has not done what it should have done for the country. There's a lot of debate about that right now about yeah. how the countries have fared after independence. Yeah. The English, the French, the Dutch, mm -hmm. etc. And who who has done better than 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 who? You know and. Yeah. It's a it's a good debate. Yeah, I think so. It's a good debate. But, but uh, we also want to encourage you folks. Um, this is an open show. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever you want to talk about, tell us about your old years, your new years, whatever resolution you had. Yeah. You know, you hope to to accomplish this year. Mm -hmm. We want to know what's on your mind. We give want us, you to talk to us and tell us exactly what's biting you. Yeah. Give let's, us. Let's talk about it. Give us a call and uh, don't forget the numbers are up there. Um, 3001949 if you're calling and 3001950 if you're texting. You should remind folks also that they can tune in if you if you That's don't right. have a TV, you can tune in via internet. That's right. JTVlive.net. That's right. We JTV have live Live.net. streaming, so you could be in New York, you could be part of the show, you can be in Florida. We have folks in Florida tuning in right now. So That's true. Um, JTV is live, it's worldwide. Mm -hmm. Tune in. Call somebody, tell somebody that JTV is on. We have some hot topics tonight. We want to have some intelligent conversation. Let's talk about it. Tell us what's on your mind. Courtney, yeah. while we waiting, mm -hmm. I want to tackle this uh, mighty scat lift thing. Go right ahead. I, I really, again, I went to John F. Kennedy High School right. in, in New York City. Mm -hmm. And we had slogans on our building. Right. It didn't degrade John F. Kennedy. He's a great man. Always you know, be. It never pulled him down. Right. So I, a lot of people that I spoke with mm -hmm. had a problem with that. They didn't understand what that means. People even said what the minister should have done mm -hmm. is encourage the other schools yeah. to participate. And have, and, right have now, a, and have a slogan and for And have a school. slogan for their school. Yeah. But let me ask you a question, because yeah. I'm not that bright. Mm -hmm. Is it any different, let's say in all the schools you have house, you have house one, house two, house three, house four, mm -hmm. and they have, they have, we have, we have a caller. Okay, let's see. have a call. Yeah. Yeah, put a call through, please. We're not, we're not getting anything. All right, we're not getting any signal. Call her if, if, you, if you're having a hard time getting through, mm -hmm. call us right back. Yeah, call us back. No, yeah. we got a call now. Okay. Yes, good, good evening. You have free speaking mind. Go right ahead. Hello? Hello? Good night. Good night. Um, I am on the show? You're live on the show. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, concerning the part that they're making down in by the hospital. Right. Now, you guys know that parking is limited in Tatooine. A very little bit of space to park. Mm -hmm. 
Why are they planting flowers garden in the parking lot? I'm not around the parking lot. Why are they I, what? Putting the uh, the, it's, the concrete? It's, no, he's asking why they're yes. planting flower garden in the oh. in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. That that might be to break up the uh, the the area instead of just having a massive amount no, of no, concrete. No, no, no. That 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 they have to do that. What they what they should do? Mark out the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Put a few trees here and there, mm -hmm. and put the flowers around the parking lot instead of making these big big flower garden. Okay. To the, I mean, parking is limited. Okay. Caller, let me ask you a question. Caller, let me ask you a question. Yes. Could it be possible that the, 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 the people responsible are maybe thinking about green space? Providing but green it, space. No, in no. addition to having parking. I understand your position. We don't the have enough parking. Right there, no. Right, green space right there, no. Mm -hmm. There's some trees. You, you put the flowers, whatever you put, around the parking lot instead of inside the parking lot. Put trees on the parking lot. Mm -hmm. You're saying around the perimeter instead of on, on the inside? Inside, mm -hmm. yeah. So the cars inside, the flowers outside, and some trees here and there around. Well, that's a, that's that's your opinion. That's a that's a that's a uh, variation to what they're doing. I have to take but what you're saying. Look at, look at in front of Bobby's with these big open basket parking lot. It, it not it 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 doesn't hold the amount of cars. It, it it really should have hold. It's like a waste of, of money and time there. Oh, so, so you should learn from that because it, the, 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 the the area that make for the flowers is too big. Where at Bobby's parking lot? Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think that's the problem with that parking lot. But um, you know, it could have that place if they did design that property better. It would have a lot more cars than it's really holding in up there. All right. I take. I take okay, it. I take it yeah. that. I take it that that's your your contribution. But Carla, would you uh, would you encourage would you encourage uh, folks that drive to even start carpooling? Would you oppose to that? No, anything could work mm -hmm. because we are getting more cars every day. So Absolutely. that's why I'm looking at this same thing we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you. you. All right. Thank you very much for your call. Okay. Very good call. Mm -hmm. Very good call. Yeah. There's something, yeah, you know, the caller raised some, uh, yeah. some concern, legitimate concern. Mm -hmm. I personally think that maybe looking at green space. I think green space is necessary. It's necessary. In it, time, it, it, it creates but, a sense of what, comfort. What I was also trying to dialogue with him about was that if you have a big open space of concrete, mm -hmm. it, it looks gets, just... It looks banal. Yes. It gets very hot. Absolutely. And it, there's no way to, to run. Absolutely. You know, and yeah. especially when you're dealing with the type of... Even, if, even those about. trees over there in front of Bobby, he's lining that street right, right. there. Yeah. You know how many times I see tourists go and stand up under those trees just for shade? Yeah. I those, mean, those, those trees were planted by the Rotary Club of Rotown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's a good thing. Uh, yeah, as a, as a project, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, so real quick, back to you know the slogan thing. Yes, I I I I would have encouraged maybe the other schools mm -hmm. to maybe look at that. And, you and, know. and look at the possibility of having a, a, a slogan for. Yeah the students to rally around. So Absolutely. Speak. Well, you know we're gonna rally around the people that make this show possible now. That's right. So that's right. So let's take, take a break. We're gonna take a break and uh, we're going to be right back at you. Tanisha Harrigan-Scott, and I am here to bring you some exciting news from Digicel. Now you can talk more and text more for only $15. A great new price point from Digicel, the Bigger Better Network. Have you heard? When you top up $15 or more, you get incredible deals with Digicel. 
Get 100 free minutes, unlimited SMS, and free weekends for 7 days to local digital numbers. Top up $15 again and it will automatically be extended for another 7 days. For more information, drop by our store or visit our website at www.digicelbbi.com. Digicel terms and conditions apply. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with you. We were having some very good discussions there. And the, the call, we're thank, thankful for the call that came in already. And we have some text that came in as well. I'm going to go to the text right after. I was just going to talk a little bit about the situation in Anguilla. Uh, the situation in Anguilla seems to be deteriorating. They, they haven't gotten their budget passed, as was uh, hoped that they would get their budget passed. They have to go through the same system as we have to here in the BVI with the United Kingdom government. And the, the chief minister there is really irated about it and we have to pay attention to what's happening there because they're a territory just like us. And the more we dialogue with each other, the more we can uh, get resolution to some of the same problems that we're having as territories. So I would like our viewers out there to really pay attention to what's happening in Anguilla and to you know, help if you can. I, I have a few friends over there that I've been trying to call as well uh, that relates to the same type of issue. And uh, it's, a, it's a serious issue. Uh, they, they've actually reduced their, def their deficit tremendously and still they were not able to get their budget passed. So. We have to look at these situations and be mindful as well uh, that of the fact that to date no one has been arrested in the talks in Caicos and they have taken over, the British government has taken over the government. Uh, they have accused more than one person of doing of wrongdoing. They have put in an inter interim government which, com which is comprised of talks in Caicos citizens and expatriate people. And uh, today, to this date, they, they, they have suspended the constitution, and they have not, um, they, have, they haven't come back to the people with a with a uh, constitution, and they also uh, um, have not uh, arrested or charged anyone for any wrongdoing. So you know, sometimes you wonder about the, these activities, whether or not they're, they're sincere, uh, or whether or not it's a way, a high-handed way of dealing with people. And this year, 2012, we, we would have figured that by the 1960s, we were finished with all of this type of activity. But we'll see how that goes. We have a caller on the line, so we're gonna go straight to the caller. Yes, good evening, you're free speaking mind. Go right ahead, please. Oh, I'd like to remind everyone that this is a live show. This is not a pre-recorded show. This is a live show, so don't call and hang up. We are right here for you, and we will talk to you. Just give us a call, and if you got disconnected, just call back, and we'll be right here with you. Um, Courtney, I just want to say, I, I can't really touch too much on Anguilla yet. Okay. In Turks and Caicos. Okay. Um, it is a touchy subject. Mm -hmm. um, looking at what's going on, even in the BVI, mm -hmm. I remember when the governor first came. Yes. He was being interviewed by one of the local newspapers. Yes. And uh, he was asked, a series of questions, and one of the questions was, what would he like to see the relationship with the BVI government and or the BVI as a whole and the UK government? And he said a closer relationship. Mm -hmm. And when I read into that, mm -hmm. it frightens me a little bit. Okay. It frightens me a little bit. I think okay. we have a caller. Let's see if uh, someone calls us back. Yeah. Okay. Good evening. You're free to speak your mind. Go right ahead, please. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Hi, I have a concern of, about one of our port of entries. As a matter of fact, one of our main port of entry, which is the Island Airport. Okay. Now, a couple of years ago, the airport authority hired dispatchers. And up to this day, 
I don't see the sense. I don't see the use. They've been hired to do. If you ask me, is to keep one end of the operator down and uphold the other. They have no sense of training before they were put there mm. about the job they were they were put there to do. As a matter of fact, there are two or three other dispatchers that that dispatch the flight while they're there standing doing nothing. Airport Authority knows about this. The BVI Tourist Board knows about this. And nobody absolutely is doing anything concerning that. Did, did you make a complaint to them? We have had meetings with them. And they were told verbally what their job aspect is. And when you remind them of it, they tell you, we don't have anything in writing. Okay. What kind of conduct is that? It's not good. Furthermore, furthermore, these dispatchers that are sent, for instance, from the moorings, from Sunsail, I mean, if a passenger walks up and says, good afternoon to, a dis to the official dispatcher, and can I have a taxi to the moorings? Here comes another dispatcher, probably from the same moorings, saying, this will interrupt him abruptly and say, this way please you with me. What, what kind of conduct is that? That dispatcher isn't the official dispatcher, but she is contradicting abruptly the, 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 other, the official dispatcher. What, what, is, what is the official dispatcher used then? She has, she has no use there. Why is she there? And furthermore, we think that she is hurting one, 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 one end of the bargain of people, of operators up there. These dispatchers need to be um, sanctioned on what, what it is, on what their job is. Furthermore, if the Morris have a dispatcher, they should be at the Morris, not at the airport. If Sunset has a dispatcher, they have to be at Sunset, not controlling the airport over the official dispatcher. Somebody needs to look into this because there's a bomb. There's a bomb that's going to explode pretty soon. Well, before the bomb explodes, we should be able to talk about it, Carla. And you're doing the right thing by speaking about it, Carla. If I if I can just share a little light on that. Sure. 2010, in August of 2010, there was a new transportation, taxi, liberty um, law that was passed. Inside of that same law, it addressed dispatching, dispatchers as a matter of fact was put in at the airport to help facilitate what you're talking about. The government said at the time, folks coming in, um, if they're not coming in on a voucher, then they should go in an independent line. Do you know if any of that is being done or is it just was put on the books and just left blank? It was just put on the books and left blank. So that's the problem. I tell you, the pe yeah. people are coming up and asking for a taxi. They have no voucher. As a matter of fact, they're going as fast. <laughs> we did not order any taxi from no, from no, no uh, organization. Mm -hmm. We did not sign up for this, mm -hmm. but the dispatchers are just pointing over to a sign. And furthermore, to, to drivers that, can, that are not supposed to collect cash. That's true. That's, a, that's also in the law. That's true. That's also in the law. But Carla, you, you you have some ser you have some serious concerns, and I think that um, I think that the people who are listening today should should look at it as a serious situation. As I was saying with uh, with Sam earlier, the taxi industry is the first impression that a tourist get in this community, and we have to pay more attention to that first impression because that first impression is usually a lasting impression. And if you have people pulling and hauling and don't know where to go or who is responsible, who is in charge, let me ask some basic questions. Does the person have on a uniform that identify them? Well, they have on a, uh, a, a um, 
I'm, I'm referring to the official dispatcher. They have an airport authority uniform. No, not even a, not even an outstanding uniform saying dispatcher. That's what I that's what I was saying. They should they should be able to be identified as a dispatcher. Exactly. And and I think that would help clear clear you know clear up some of the problem, but it wouldn't clear up all. You know, well, Carla, you know, you know, um, the Minister of Communication and Work mm -hmm. is having a workshop um, in the No Light Action Movement Park. That's right. This coming Monday, I believe, from seven to nine. From seven to nine, I, I definitely would encourage you if, if you're really passionate about this mm -hmm. to detail exactly what you're saying. Um, what I will also encourage you to do is start documenting these things mm -hmm. because you have a right. The laws were created for a reason. And if the laws are being broken, yes. the first course of action is to document the illegalness and bring it to the videotape it and, bring and it then bring it to the law, the law enforcement okay. agencies. And also I would encourage you to come to their workshop. I'm gonna be there. You know, I'm gonna be there. I, I believe that I'm very active or proactive in the transportation business. And it's my business to make sure that, you know, I survive in it. So I think you, you, you're right now doing the right thing. You're calling in. It is an somebody, open show. So you, you're giving us the opportunity to, to hear your concern. Sure, somebody has to do something because as I say, a bomb is waiting to explode up there. All right, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your call, Carla. Okay, thank you guys very much. You're doing a great job, keep it up. All right, thank you. Yeah, so we got some touching issues. We do. You know, I'm pretty sure the situation and at other ports uh, is probably yeah. critical as well. Yeah, I mean, these, mm -hmm. these things were, were addressed in the last administration. Right. Um, I, I believe at some point the minister attempted to, to rectify some of them. That's why right. we have some of the laws, but mm -hmm. um, we need to. Well, something I've, I forgot to mention to the caller, and I, I hope he's still um, tuned into the, mm -hmm. the show, and uh, anyone else who may have the same type of uh, issue too, I have a note down here, and it says know your district and what I mean by know your district is don't forget that each district have five representatives as well mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. in addition to making those complaints there are also five people that you should be able to talk to about the concerns in your district when I say know your district what am I referring to I'm referring to know what you have in your district you were talking about some of them a little earlier if you have let, let, let's get back to that. I'll come right back to that. But we're going to let the cause um, take okay. pre precedence. So, good evening. You have reached speak to mine. Go right ahead, please. Yeah, good night. Um, good night. Courtney, how are you tonight? I'm doing fine. How are you, my brother? I'm taking everything on the easy side. Good. Good to um, hear that. As a concerned driver, I'm thinking about what was said concerning the fact that with all of the global parts that we yes. have in there, yes. they're taking up a lot of the, of the parking area. Yes, okay. it is. Um, as, as the caller said, um, around the perimeter, right? Mm -hmm. But on the inside, I do, like you go to some summer cars, you let all of the different places. They have, do have plants and whatnot, mm -hmm. but then they have some big areas there that just have parking around. Yes. You know, so if around the perimeter is good, um, it will, it will, it will uh, back off from creating a congestion in like vehicle maneuvering. Mm -hmm. When you can trust and trust us in a, in a an area that don't have a plant. When yes. plant is there, you cannot do it. Okay. So, and everybody don't have the high standard of driving. Okay. Okay. Which is one. The next one I'd like to ask you is uh, concerning um, Mr. Maduro. Um, is he on vacation or he is when he be coming back or what have you? Mr. Mr. Maduro is not on the show tonight. No. Hey, uh, no, I didn't yeah. understand what I asked you. He's yeah. not on the show tonight. I understand that. Mm -hmm. Will he be coming back? Well, at this point, I won't be able to answer that right now. So until such time, you will be taking care of business? Yes. Okay, appreciate it. I mean, I wish you all the best. And, uh, well, thank, well, thank you very much. A lot of courses is, 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 um, is into the show that you all have. Mm -hmm. Having a show like that, speak your mind. Mm -hmm. The person or person should have an opportunity to give their views and opinion unless they are going outside the boundary. Definitely. Well, Carla, that's why you're speaking right now. Mm -hmm. You're speaking your mind. We're giving you that opportunity. But this, this, this is why I'm saying it. Yes. 
All we ask, all we asking is that when you call, you call with respect. Speak your mind, but speak your mind with respect. Yes, I do agree with that. But then um, you don't have to, you don't have to get on a high passion um, in dealing with the public. Because not everybody in the same level of education. Exactly. And some people don't know they're not supposed to swear on the show. This right. is why an, uh, an American or whatever it is when they call in, they have certain things that block in decent language. Yes. They have certain things that block things that you do not, you cannot broadcast on the show. Yeah. So what I'm saying, we don't have that standard right now. Mm. And um, coming soon. When, when the person, when the person or person uh, was stepping about me, so I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to have to cut you out because this is not a tolerated on the show. Mm -hmm. At this point in time, because if one is coming soon, I do agree hearing that. Mm -hmm. But if one is going to have it be coming soon, I appreciate hearing that also. Well, Carla, let me ask you a question before you go, because I think I recognize the voice. Yeah. For the new year, how do you feel about the new year? How do you feel about the system, the government? You know, opportunity for improvement um, in a tourist sector as a whole. How do you feel? Well, I do, I do appreciate what I see is taking place for some while. The road sign has been, has been trimmed up to date and we don't have to... Oh, thank, to oh thank, thank you for reminding me about that. I have, a, I have a person that speaks to me about that all the time and, and they say that they're really appreciative of the fact that now, you know, the road, roads have been cleared from the, the um, what do you call it, the guardrail. You can see the guardrail now. But some, some areas have been done in a proper manner, and, and there's something I'd like to run by you, if you have the time to... Sure, go, sure, go right ahead. Um, if forces have been granted, uh, given a job to do, before getting paid, it should be inspected. Let me, let, me, let me add something to what you're saying. I think the area should be inspected before the person does the job. And after. And after, well, I know you, you were working in the same area, so you, you, you know the rest of the story. So, and after they have done the work, the person should go back and verify that the person did what they were asked Thank to you. do. Thank you. Before getting paid. Before getting paid. Well, let me, let me ask the two of you a question. And I, and I hear where you guys going with this. Mm -hmm. I had a situation, I looked at it, up to tonight, mm -hmm. right there in Brandywine Bay. Work was done. I thought it was nice. It looks good mm -hmm. in the beginning. But right now, the trash is still piled up. Yes. So it's almost just as bad. So I've, I've, I've noticed what that. Happens, what happened in a situation like that? I've noticed. Listen, hold, hold me a minute. Mm -hmm. This is part of what I'm speaking about. Mm -hmm. if when the, the job is only finished, when the grass is being removed, removed or when the debris, the debris that is being cut has been removed. Yeah. That's when I con con that's where I wish to the, the understand that the job is complete. Mm -hmm. If that is not removed, mm -hmm. where it has been trimmed down from the, the branches mm -hmm. or the grass has been cut from the side of the road, mm -hmm. if it hasn't been removed, mm -hmm. the post that had a job should not be paid Absolutely. until that's been well, done. Well, Carla, I, I think you made a very good dialogue with us, and uh, I'm sure the persons who are listening will pay attention to what we have discussed, and thank you very much for your... You, you, you see, what I understand, I appreciate it, but what, what I really want to really rub in, the person who's going to sign off on the job that you was given... The supervisor. Support should be it, that should be checked out for because there's areas in Western that we had jobs to do and it just hasn't been completed. Mm -hmm. As down there, Western by the laundromat, there's a kasha tree that they are across the road all the time. But, but Carla, I, I, was, I, I was going to make a special plea for some of the guys who I know who have the nice um, safari buses with the with the paint job. I mean, come right. on, we, we, we're trying to you know encourage that type of activity, but, but we can't encourage it if we have trees I, rubbing it off. I am so pleased to hear what you said, but I am really concerned 100% about the passengers on the vehicle. Um, before I get my vehicle damaged, I'd rather my vehicle get damaged than a passenger on my vehicle. Yes. I'd rather repair my vehicle than have to pay an insurance bill for a passenger on my vehicle. Exactly. So what I'm saying is the person or persons that's in charge of that end are signing off on these contracts or the job that is being handed out to the young men I would like to say it should be inspected before getting paid. Anyway, have a good night. Well, well Carl, I'm sure the people who are, who are in charge are hearing us loud and clear. So I'm, I'm, I, I myself am looking forward to see some, area, some areas of that improved. Thank you. All right, thank you. And listen, listen, before you go too far, there is, over 
very crucial duck. Yes. A very crucial duck. I just want all the textures and the visuals that work in that area. There is some sand that has been dredged in that area. And uh, to me, it, 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 the person that had the job done, had the sand dredge, has failed to back off the sand from the road out there and also have it powered off with water hose, like what I've seen being done by by Virgin Queen area, mm -hmm. next to the market square. Mm -hmm. To clean it's it up. Too much, it's too much loose dust, and the sand needs to be backed off from the road. Mm -hmm. That the buses that use the pack on the left hand side going into the cruise ship pack can get it back off of the road instead of creating the congestion. Well, Carl, if they don't get it, anything done between now and Monday, you and I definitely will walk the minister ourselves over there. Well, I like to go you know, you. so let's 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 hold hand in, in doing that. Well, we thank you so much for the call. We got a next caller holding. We want to get as much as we can in. All right, have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank, thank you, you very much. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, that was some important information there, Brother Henry. Mm -hmm. And um, you can see we have a number of texts that we're going to have to try to get to. But p please put a call through. Yes, good evening. If you Would you please turn your television set down, please? You're speaking, man. Go right ahead. Yes, good night. Yeah, good night. Yes, good night. Call it sound familiar. Yes, you should know the voice. I have one question concerning the livery. Okay. Do you know what the last state is about livery transportation? Which uh, which section of the livery, though? Because you know it's what? Section uh, 218, uh, Cap 218 of the Road Traffic Act, mm -hmm. section 45. And uh, we are having a problem with these uh, people coming here with these uh, livery plates trying to solicit customers. And they do not have no pre-arranged service. So when the guests come out and ask for a uh, transfer to this location, here comes the sign. I was questioning the same driver for delivery, and he could not give me a uh, charge of how much money the customer is supposed to be paying. Say for instance, going from the waterfront ferry to Peter Island dock. The guy is there standing up holding the sign saying Peter Island. Four guests came out and asked for a taxi going to Peter Island ferry dock. Then the guy approached the guest with the sign, well I'm here to get you. So the guy said, well we didn't have any services uh, provided with you. So now, him and the taxi guy got into a little verbal conversation. To put a short story start, these are things that are affecting us as taxi drivers here in the British Virgin Islands, and it's going so wrong for so long. So everyone who comes here doing it now, making us believe that it's right, and it's wrong, and he cannot be arguing in front of guests as to who do what. So. Rather than having these confrontations, sometimes you just leave it alone, not to cause any like confrontation with the guests. Mm -hmm. And it's, it is a big problem. The same problem that they are inco incorporating at the airport. When they leave the airport now, they don't check all the flights. They come down to the waterfront ferry taxi mm -hmm. with the sign. So what is the taxi driver supposed to do when you have a shuttle driver blatantly disrespected a lot? Most of those drivers who are here are on work permit. You have to let these people know that you are in violation of the law. If you cannot obey the law of the land, you send them back where they come from. Let me ask you a question, Carla. Who, who are these people employed by? They, apply, they are employed by Sebastian Transport. They are, they are, they are employed by Wheatley's Transport. And they have a new livery service. I do not know who that belongs to. Well, but these... Well, Carla... I think one of the ways to deal with this issue now, since it's, it, you are so into it in detail, is there's a taxi workshop, 7 to 9 p.m., Monday night. New minister. New minister. Uh -huh. I think you, ha you have to be there. And, and also, you know that um, we do have a taxi commission. Um, I think they've been pretty active. I was at traffic just the other day, and they were having a meeting down by the traffic department. So I think it, it, it's, it's, I think it's good for us to be more proactive in 
like I said to the other caller earlier, start documenting these things. You got an iPhone or Blackberry, start documenting these things and building a case. You okay. build a case, you build a strong case. I hear what you're saying, but right now it's just eyewitness and it's just you. Mm-hmm. But so why so why don't we just I- invite the minister of communication and his entourage to these ports like today? Almost three hundred persons came into the water from ferry. How much job did the taxi driver get? Every minute there is a sign. So how is this going to be fixed? Well, not taking anything away from the minister, because I think the minister is a very vigilant person. Mm-hmm. But at okay. the same time, you know it's different when you're running for office mm-hmm. and you're in front of everything, you could see what's happening, then when you're in office and you have everything in front of you. Okay. You know, so the minister hands is tight. But what I'm saying to you, for us, for us who are in the transportation business and who have an issue with some of the things that are going on, because you're right, they're blatant disrespect for, in disregard for the law. Mm-hmm. But even the law itself, I've had series of meetings with even a new deputy commissioner and the police chief. And, and up to this day, haven't had any result. The governor's in charge of law enforcement in this country. And even the governor knows about it. So we have to build a case. And what we have to do, based on the Constitution, is take our case to court. You understand another, what I'm saying? So that's what you have to start thinking about. We, you, you, you run to the governor, you don't get no satisfaction. You run to the police chief, you don't get no satisfaction. You go to the minister, and the minister have to be very careful because he's threading on, you know, a thread. He's walking on a thread. So then you got bill a case, and then you take the the system to court. That's my so best about, advice to you. So the next problem we are facing now. What about these ferry companies that are infringing in taxi business? A ferry company is supposed to provide ferry service and stay out of the taxi business. Some of these ferry companies are booking up people, giving them to the same drivers who are doing shuttle. And we're there standing up and they're moving, going back and forth every minute, and we're not getting any work. And at the end of the day, they're smiling at you. Monday, Monday at 7. Monday, 7 Monday to 9 7 in, in Lloyd Park. Lloyd Positive Action Park. All right, you have a good night. All right, thank you. Thanks for the call. Mm-hmm. Well, it seems like it seems like that meeting is going to be a, um, <laughs> a, a very good meeting. I think so. I well, think it's time so. to take a break. Yeah, it's time to take a break for the sponsors who make a show possible, and we'll be right back. to bring you some exciting news from Digicel. Now you can talk more and text more for only $15. A great new price point from Digicel, the Bigger Better Network. Have you heard? When you top up $15 or more, you get incredible deals with Digicel. Get 100 free minutes, unlimited SMS, and free weekends for seven days to local Digicel numbers. Top up $15 again, and it will automatically be extended for another seven days. For more information, drop by our store or visit our website at www.digicelbbi.com. Digicel terms and conditions apply. When you need total insurance coverage, Caribbean Insurance Limited is here for you. Backed by A-rated companies, Caribbean Insurers offers coverage for auto, home, marine, health and life, contractors all risk, employers liability and professional indemnity. Our life and health coverage is the best. Our in-house claim service beats all the competition. We cover you for disasters such as fires, hurricanes and floods. We have a special deal for drivers under the age of 25, so switching to Caribbean Insurers can save you money. For the best claim service, fast and efficient customer service, stability, and longevity, Caribbean Insurance is a must for every household. We also compare our home insurance policies with any other policies for free. Caribbean Insurance has a wealth of insurance knowledge. For almost 40 years in the insurance business and over 500 years total staff experience, trust us to provide you with insurance when you need it. So, stop by our office today or give us a call and we'll come to you. Call 494 27 
Uh, good evening. We're right back at you. We're uh, looking at some of the texts that came in. Oh, there, there are a lot of them that came in, and we're going to get to a few of them right now. Uh, go straight to them so that we can keep our viewers informed. Thanks, anyway, right yeah. away for the yeah. text. Keep on coming. I have no problem with the school having a slogan, but it should be in small print under the name of the school. Please let the minister do his job, Courtney. Watch yourself. That's another Edmund you got there. I don't think so. Good night to you both and Happy New Year. Mighty, mighty Scatliff <laughs> is not a slogan. It is part of a chant. A slogan should relate to your business, product or service. AS, AAS, oh, they're still coming in one after the other. ASPS is in the business of education. Oh boy. So car slogan was not relative in my opinion. That's true, that is your opinion. On the slogan issue, the NDP party stated during the campaign they would listen to the people this time around it seems that honorable myron that it seems that honorable myron acted on his own and never consulted with or met with the altis catholic faculty before making in my opinion a personal decision that has ruffled many feathers it's out of that school. I'm out of that school now over 25 years now. And when I saw the sign up driving past the school, I felt proud about the mighty, mighty scat lift. I don't think they should have taken it down. If this is listening to the people, NDP in trouble next four years. Please, can PWD fix the road by the new stoplights going and coming from East, East End? It has a... Sh a, a shrink or a off level in the road where the place underground electricity pipes. Oh, well, that's by the moorings. That they're, they're, right, they're coming out of the moorings. Right, and in addition to that, right at the entrance to um, where where we call Fred Yard, mm -hmm. which we, um, you know, right there by by Pazir, there's a they they have dug up a path of the road there too, and people shy away from it, and it can cause an accident. So they really need to pay attention to the highway and fix those things. We have a call. Hello? Good evening. You're free speaking. Mind go right ahead, please. Good night. My, my question is right. Welcome for educational slogan. Sorry. Welcome for educational slogan. It's not a matter of whether what comes first, the education or the slogan. They're both are important. Because I went to school for those years, right? Yes. And I don't remember exactly where well, you take it out. Uh huh. But the main thing is, right? Just for education first before the slogan. Sure. At the end of the day, right? Then your parents, they have to look forward to. Well, we, we also have to be concerned that we are also motivating the students to yeah. become full citizens as well. We want them to be educated, but education is a big word. What, what is education? You can be educated in one area and not educated in another area. Yes, but I well, Carl, Carl I, I believe that's exactly what has been happening at the school. The school has been, been doing exceptionally Excellent. well Excellent. In, in the educational field. And part of that part of that enthusiasm is that, that whole slogan thing. It builds it builds morale. And and motivation. We have to find a way to motivate the students to exceed to excellent. Yes, I understand that fact. Well, well, I don't know why he took it well, down. He, this is, this he, is the he, problem, though, he said, he said why he took it down. He made a statement as to why he took it down. Do you agree with, do you agree with the position? I don't agree with it, but nobody knows exactly why he took it down. No, but he did, he did state in the paper yes. why he took it down. Okay, let me ask that question, right? What do you want to take it down? Well, whether he's wrong or right is, is beyond, is beyond uh, that point now. It was already done. I mean, you know, it's, for me to say whether he was wrong or right, would, I don't think it would be fair because it's after the fact. It's already done. You know, but what we're saying is we're opening a dialogue with you and members of the community about the entire issue. That's all. 
And, and from the text that you've heard me reading, there's some people who agree and there's some people who disagree. You're always going to have that in a community. Well, as a minister, he has, he has a certain amount of authority. I, th I think, Carla, though, if you read the blog or you read the, 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 the uh, article itself, the minister did make a, his, one of his first open statements that if you want to put a slogan up or whatever you call it, mm -hmm. they should have been given permission. Mm -hmm. Now, apparently, according to some other sources, they were, being, they were given permission. Mm -hmm. So the minister has a position, and he took that position. I think what people are saying is there was no consultation uh, exactly. before. That's all people are asking. Well, why didn't you why, consult with why? the community, you know, to get a community feedback to see if it's really, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. All right. Thanks all right. for the call, Carl. Thank, thank you, Carl, very much. That was good. Yeah, yeah that was I good. I think the caller, you know, has a good position, but mm -hmm. at the same time, people are just asking. Yes. You know. Inquiring minds want to know. That's right. Mm -hmm. Back to See those texts. get back some of those texts. A lot of texts. Thanks for the text. But guys, you can call us. Mm -hmm. You can call us. Tell That's us well. how you're feeling. Mm -hmm. Nothing says more than you're expressing words. So call us on the phone. Mm -hmm. The phone number's on screen, 300-1949. Call us anytime. I know uh, some people like texting because it's simple, it's easy, you just send it. But there's a lot of text and we want to get to all the text, but we'll, we're not going to be able to get to all the text because there's so many of them. So call us. Another text is, uh, I am surprised that all those politicians with businesses who... Gotta go to the phone. Please turn your television set down, please. You reach speaking mind, go right ahead, please. It's turned down, way, way down. I would just like to throw in two little things. So that if, if St. George's school were to decide to put a sign down by the road, they could see it going and coming, saying, with an arrow pointing to the school, saying, St. George's school, the brains of the primary five exams, or the seven days were to put a sign down by the entrance of their school, saying, BVI Seven Day Adventist School, the wizards of the primary five exam. I wonder how the, the, this country of mine will take it. I leave that to the two of you gentlemen. <laughs> Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Carla. That, that was, those are really, really good positions I, 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 to try to answer. But, but to add to that, what I would like to say is that um, the Alte Scatliff School has been the winner of the Spelling Bee competition on a number of occasions, and they've also uh, excelled in a number of other um, competitions, but, uh, including but you got, sports. But, but you got to listen to what the caller just said, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know uh, St. George's School has mm -hmm. been credited for a lot of things. I remember things. two years ago, I think it was one of the top graduating students in the entire country yes. came from that school. Yes. And what if they were to put up something that and just glorify that? Yeah. Um, would we accept that? Would the that's community true. accept it? So yeah. uh, that's a good question. That's a good, that's question. A good question. So let's, yeah. let's let the community wear in. Let's, let's and let's, majority let's, will let's, carry. Let's, let's hear what they have to say about that. that, that Thank that's, you, Carla. That's, that's very interesting, especially from uh, you know um, an educational point of view. That's right. Because we're always yeah. talking about excellence and, and um, promoting excellence. Yeah. Yeah, but I still think personally, mm -hmm. I, I would definitely promote, mm -hmm. you know, those type of um, mm -hmm. behavior. Mm -hmm. Good evening, you're speaking mind. Go right ahead, please. Yes, sir. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Thank Year you. to you as well. I want to say that um, the right way to the market actually is the big... Could you speak market. more directly into the microphone, please? A little bit louder. Okay, I would like to say that uh, Right Way Supermarket is one of the big leading supermarkets in the BVI. Okay. And it's very bad for me to see that after all these years in the British Virgin Islands, that they have the things so expensive. And one mat just come back on stream again and knock them out of place. But that's and competition. Make, and make things so efficient for all local people who could afford to feed our family much better. I think the government needs to look into this mm -hmm. and have a price control. 
That's, that's, that's a good um, dialogue you're starting there. We, we were hoping to touch on that issue of food, food prices and um, well, I might as well add tourism as well <laughs> that we were going to talk a little bit about as well. But um, I'm glad you brought it up. It's a very good observation that you're making. And I think in addition to what you're saying about, uh, did, you, did you say price control? Price control, yes, because um, a lot of times we want to feed our children more, mm -hmm. more better. And when you look at look at cash and carry, mm -hmm. so the food, mm -hmm. and you look at the, the um, fine food, you look at packets. When you compare the prices, they're actually breathtaking because then we can't afford to. to, to by all these kind of things and look at, look in a short distance that um one not come back on. You can get three green apples for ninety nine cents. Yes. Three oranges for ninety nine cents. A stick patch for one ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let the people and feed the children, man. The economy done so high already. Yeah. Have some mercy on the people because in cash and carry them is a leading supermarket they're supposed to meet the pocket of the people. Well, I think you're, do, you're doing the right thing here by, you know, advertising your findings to the rest of the public. That's one of the ways that we're going to have to move forward in these hard economic times. We're going to have to lobby each other and tell each other what's happening. Carla, can I ask you something? Yeah. Um, when, you, when you find a good deal in some of the other places, do you share it with some of your friends and relatives? Of course I do. Maybe, that, that's, 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 maybe that's part of the answer. Mm -hmm. When you find a good deal and it's at one supermarket over the other, or one taxi over the other, one gas station over the other, spread that good news so people know. And I, maybe, I, I, maybe the lack of business coming from the, the, the general public in some areas might, might wake up some of, these, uh, some of these businesses. Okay, listen here again. Up at each supermarket, right? You can get any kind of piece in there for a dollar thirty-five. I go over to find food. It's for one dollar and ninety-nine cents. Mm -hmm. So you can you can chew the two peas. You could eat some for your lunch. You could snack on it, and you still end up with a little more money in your pocket. I think the government needs to look into the price control at the supermarket, and please, please. Well, the, the, we have been asking for that for years and we haven't gotten anything done in that area. So I think we have to look at other ways as well. Are you, you, fo you following me? Yes. And what I was suggesting to you is to, you know, share the information that you have with other persons and, uh, you know, even even go to the point where you, you set up a group of persons or, 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 or an email thing and you, you, you send yes. around and, yeah. tell, and tell everybody, listen, shop here this week because this is where the prices are. There's a business like that in the state, you know. I, I'm aware of that. <laughs> There's yeah. a business like that, Carla, where people actually do exactly what Courtney's saying. Mm -hmm. When you find good deals. Mm -hmm. Hold on, a student would like to say something. Oh, definitely. We're here for the... Hello. 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 Good evening. Good evening. Happy New Year. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Happy New Year to you too as well, 2012. Um, I'd like to share my opinion on the I Just Get This slogan. Go right ahead. Um, I believe if other schools can have it, I believe they should have oh. their own. Okay. I think we know. Okay. <laughs> that's very good. Very, that's very good. You speak you spoke in your mind. Yeah. And I, that's, I like I like what she said. But yes. the thing is we don't know if other school can't have it. I don't know that either. And I don't know if other schools want to have it. You know? That's yeah. that's another thing. I think um, you know, what one of the callers that came in and, and spoke about was the fact that there are other schools that are doing just as well or better mm -hmm. than Altes Catholic as well. And what if they had put up their slogan as well? Mm -hmm. You know, how, how, how would that affect yeah. the community? How would we look at it? How would we look at it? Yeah. Would we be as, 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 um, as judgmental mm -hmm. as we're being uh, judgmental well, towards? Um, I, I think in a way. A lot of the schools that some even some of those two schools that the caller mentioned yeah. are actually promoting their slogans in a in a in a different way. In a way. different way, I agree you know, with that. And and when you look at when you look at even 
you know, the, some of the schools, say the one day in, in uh, Kingston, mm -hmm. you know, they have this, this sense of community among the, the students and the parents. Yes. Um, they, you know, they, they put money and effort into the school and bringing up the education. Yeah. So in a way, they, they're giving us their slogan. They're giving us They just don't pull it on the loud, building. Loud and clear. But it's loud, loud and clear. Very loud and, loud and very clear. I think that's something we need to match. Yes. And you I know? think it's something we need to match in the public schools as well. That's, right. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. When I say we, yeah. the government funding. Okay. Government funding should be you more and my, than... You and my taxpayers' dollars. That's right. Yeah. Well, let's see if we could get to the rest of these texts before we <laughs> then, then I get a chance. You have a lot of texts, Courtney. Yeah. A lot of mm -hmm. texts. The issue at hand is the official... Well, we'll come back to that text. We've got a call. Good evening. You're free speaking mind. Go right ahead, please. Yes, I am taking the liberty of calling back to throw some light on something. Okay. Altus Catholic School excels in many areas, but it totally excels in sports. Why? Because they practically are on the AO Shirley Recreation Ground. And the chant that includes the mighty, mighty Catholic, at least when I was able to go out, is what they use on sports day. When those kids come down with their chant, and so many of them, they practically dominate. And they dominate in sports. And to me, that slogan should be on their t shirt when they go out for sports day because that is where that school excels. The, the schools in the country do not have access to recreation facilities as well as LTS Catholics because it means coming in in town and maybe those in Caribbean might be able to but they don't have as, as good as good a facility as LTS Catholics has access to so they dominate the other schools in sports and when they come down with a chant on sports they, they, something where they ask who we are and we say the mighty, mighty Catholic. It should be on their t-shirts. And I mean, so some, in some circles that are criticizing the minister, in, a, in other countries, somebody who works for the government and criticize the government and make the remarks that have been made on Facebook and those things, their jobs would have been in jeopardy. And I leave that with you two fine gentlemen. And Courtney, Happy New Year. Mr. Henry, ha I don't ha know you, happy, but, happy I know you pop, but Happy New Year to both of you. And I wish you a year of great things. I wouldn't <laughs> ask where my friend is because I'll, <laughs> I'll call Courtney privately on that. But <laughs> good night. Good night. Thank you for the New Year wishes and the same to you, my dear. Um, we're being asked to take a break for these sponsors that make the show possible. And when we come back, we're going to be right here with you on some more issues. So we're going to take a break and we're going to be right back. Tanisha Harrigan Scott, and I am here to bring you some exciting news from Digicel. Now you can talk more and text more for only $15. A great new price point from Digicel, the Bigger Better Network. Have you heard? When you top up $15 or more, you get incredible deals with Digicel. Get 100 free minutes, unlimited SMS, and free weekends for 7 days to local Digicel numbers. Top up $15 again, and it will automatically be extended for another 7 days. For more information, drop by our store or visit our website at www.digicelbbi.com. Digicel terms and conditions apply. Yes, viewers, we're right back with you. And we still have some texts that we haven't gotten to. We're going to try to get to some of them as well. And we're also going to touch on some tourism issues and back on that food issue Courtney, at some point. Courtney, we, we don't have enough time. We, we, we got some gonna, good topics, but gonna, we don't have enough time. We're going to squeeze as many of them as we could. I, I want to touch a little bit on food, mm -hmm. back to the food, mm -hmm. and tie it into tourism. Okay. Because we eat, and, and the caller 
you know, indicated that cost of living for food, everything is high. So you can imagine how the tourists feel when they come in. Mm -hmm. So I think it's wise that the next stakeholders meeting, which is coming up on Thursday, I believe, yes. that the general public, even that lady should be a part of that. Don't think because you, you, know, you may not work directly in tourism, it doesn't affect you. It affects you because hey, what you're saying about being able to feed your kids. You know, if the tourists don't come in and spend money in our country, you won't be able to work no matter where you work. That's right. And make that money to be able to shop around. So um, tourism, guys, we have a big stakeholders meeting coming up. I'm giving the tourist board a little plug here. I think it's important. Everybody, everybody who's out there, um, you know, come out. Come on and understand what needs to be done. Share your opinions. You know, we got a new group of leaders. I think these guys are smart people. I think they got a plan. Let's hear the plan and come with your own plan. Come with some ideas. If you got good ideas that can help tourism, come out. So tourism, we, we, we really need to elaborate a little bit more. So maybe on the next show, mm -hmm. Courtney, we could do a, a really nice in-depth um, tourism uh, program. So yeah. definitely tourism. There, there are some challenges with tourism right now, the, the marketing of the territory, right? I, I've heard some, <coughs> some talk about um, getting that going. Mm -hmm. Um, there's also some, well, a little bit of what we talked about, you know, the infrastructure as it relates to mm -hmm. tourism. Yes. Getting that to a level. And of course, we're going to talk more specific about that at another time. Mm -hmm. But we'll also touch on the airlift situation. That's right. The expansion of the ports. Tourism. The, all of those, all <laughs> yeah. of those tourism issues, right? Mm -hmm. um, concerning the, the food issue, right? Uh, I think we... we Every time I said I wore this phone, it was ringing. That's right. Good evening. You're free to speak your mind. Go right ahead, please. Hello, good evening. Good evening. I have a little thought to relay. Now, in one of our schools, uh, Kingstown, there is a sign, Cedar International. And right in the hallway, there are flags of different nations of the Caribbean, probably worldwide. And in one of our schools, the Sunday Adventist School, there's a sign up, we persevere for excellence. Now just to give you a little something to think about, what do you do? Do you take down those signs? Or what does this sign, what thought does this sign convey? I, I hang up and let you think about it. Well, well thank you. That's another, another point of view. Uh, Sam, I, I listen. And, and, that, um, that it provokes, caller, it provokes the, the whole discussion that we've been having. That caller right there just touched on something that has been an eyesore for me. And I say eyesore in a sense that, not in a disrespectful way. Okay. There's three flags mm -hmm. at the school in Kingston. Okay. One of them, I think, is a BVI flag. Mm -hmm. One is a U.S. flag, I believe, I, I or international know. flag. Mm -hmm. And one is the flag for the school. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen any other school yet mm -hmm. flying mm -hmm. three different flags. So I would like maybe some but clarity. But uh, there's some school that don't fly no flag. None at all. None Which at I all. think they should be flying. Wait, they should be a, a BVI flag. They should be flying the the, the, right. the, the flag of the country at That's least. Right. That's right. So you see, we, 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 we have a lot of um, differences. So you have to look at some that, of these that, other that areas that too. Maybe not necessarily, you know, in the forefront, mm -hmm. but there are still issues. It, they're there. And then I have a personal one that I would like to add, and that is if you do put up a flag, mm -hmm. you should take it down at 6 o'clock every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that goes for the House of Assembly as well. They have flags that fly there at 365. So they have no guard? I didn't say they didn't have any God. The, I, I'm saying if they had I'm a making, God, it would, make, it would raise and, and But I'm making the day. point, I'm making the point to you that if you don't believe me, you could go there now and the flag is up. It's, it's up. And it's it, should up. Be, it should be dropped every it night. Sh it should be dropped every night and it should be raised in the morning every, yeah. as respect for Is there any flag on the house, on the uh, government building? Yes. There is? Yes, there is. Okay. And they, they, those are raised and, and those are, are dropped every yeah. day. Okay. Yeah. And there's a flag at government house and that's raised and dropped every day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you see, we, 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 maybe we, we're coming of age, you know, when you're coming of age, it's different than when you just um, arrive, you know. Mm -hmm. I, don't know I don't know about you, but I was... I wonder, if, I wonder if the fact that CEDA is considered an international school, yeah. maybe why they fly the different flags and so forth. But then, at the same time, if you're following a certain policy, according yes. to the minister, yeah. that's governed by the country, mm -hmm. 
is what they doing within the policy, exactly. within the laws of the BVI, or are they just doing their own thing because they're considered an international school. Well. So yeah. it, you know, there's something Th to look at. Those are those are those yeah. are those are questions, not answers. <laughs> Uh, as, as I was about to start talking a little bit about the food issue, and uh, thank that person that called about the food issue for you know bringing it to the show and um, remind persons that we have a number of issues with food. Mm -hmm. One of them being wholesale and retail, mm -hmm. right? And we 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 I think we've reached to a stage in the country where there should be some. Uh, differentiation between wholesale and retail, or if there isn't any, then we, the public, should be period to know, you know, that there isn't any. And then there's other issue that there's transportation involved in the price of food, and that at different locations you may have different prices based on transportation, even within the territory. I expect to pay more for something if it has to go a longer distance. That's just me, and I expect to pay less for something if it's in one bigger container. In other words, if you have five little containers. Well, I, I, I don't respectfully disagree. You could disagree with me anytime. And I, and I, disrespect, I, I disagree in the sense that mm -hmm. if, if you have a main importer of food yes. and, and there's a price control. There's, on, no, on, there's no price control. I, just hypothetically speaking. Okay. It doesn't. It wouldn't matter if it, that 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 importer have a store in East End, mm -hmm. and I live in Road Town and drive to East End to get those savings, or they have a store in West End. They should have a standard price if it's a supermarket. Now a gas station should have obviously a higher cost mm -hmm. because they buying from the importer, mm -hmm. they're buying from the wholesaler, yes. and they have to now look at how they can make a fair. A fair uh, profit plus transportation. Well, you want to include transportation. It but has transportation, to get there somehow. But transportation is a real cost in in everything. Yes, yes, definitely. Okay, definitely. you're in the transport business. Yeah, you oh, don't yeah. transport for free. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> and, and you're right. Longer distance, I charge more. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so it is a part of the price, and yes. and and if you think of us as a country now, mm -hmm. to transport to us as well has a cost. That's right. And That's that right. cost may. may Oh, we're gonna go to the call. We're gonna go to the phone. We're gonna come right back. Good evening. You're free speaking, man. Go right ahead, please. Yes, good evening. Good evening. I would like to make a comment. You have to turn your television set down, please. Yeah, hold on. Uh, yeah, good night. Good night. At um, cash and carry, as you were saying, for the price of um, the bulk items. Yes. If you look at the condition milk, mm -hmm. eight condition cans of milk, you pay about fourteen dollars and change for the eight cans. Okay. If you go into the supermarket, you buy one can at about dollar forty nine. Okay. You pay extra for the packaging, which is a fancy packaging, which doesn't make any sense. Okay. So, in the cash and carry section, we're supposed to pay something cheaper. Yes. You end up paying more because it's packaged by threes. Okay. So right now in the BVI, the, pack, the price of food mm -hmm. is very expensive when you go to various supermarkets. Okay. And I think the government needs to look into a price control. Okay. Okay, thank you. But in, if, if that doesn't happen, what, uh, what other action are you prepared to take? Well, I'll look for where it's cheaper. That's right. And mm -hmm. also, you're going to share the information with your friends and colleagues and family? Yeah, and if I have to go to St. Thomas, I'll go to St. Thomas. Uh, that too. Okay, then thank you. All right. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well. No, 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 Henry. That's that's what we're talking about. I think if if you if you can't get solutions, one way you have to try. You have to try other means to survive. Well, people. Are These doing are high action. times. People are doing that. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. You're free speaking mind. Go right ahead, please. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, happy New Year. Happy New Year to to you as well. And I hope all the best for the rest month to come. Thank you, and the same to you. What I call about is that on the grocery era. Yes. This week here, you see one item for say one fifty. Mm-hmm. And time next week is it for two 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 dollars. Mm -hmm. The same item. Okay. And I ask myself what is really going on. 
because for instance if now you have say a pound of sugar for a dollar okay tomato for say 150 and because of easter come the same tomato they have for 150 if you don't get it there they put it for four dollars wow even in with the starfish and when it have a, a normal price but when you see certain season come up it can sky high right yes. and i have observed that many 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 times inside the supermarket and different ways so i want to know what is this what is what so special i mean about the price why 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 are you doing that because if you ain't get the thing sell why you have to care it up for because of a season for all that money remember we we are we're not working for enough money to say we will be a survivors here yeah. And each and one of us who are born here are survivors. Mm -hmm. You understand? And that same sort of item that you get, you could go sing Tama and get it cheaper. And I believe the same company that create the sauce, create the stuff, create the, 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 the beef, create the juice. So what is the different price? Which I know when you buy in bulk, they give you one flat price and cheap price. And when they bring it here, it, 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 other places go sell it for cheaper. And when they come here, they can get it cheap just the same. What is really going on? Well, it, it's from what you're suggesting to me, I would, I would say it's a lot of greediness that's going on. There's no real measure for greed. You know, you could have a little bit of greed or you could have a lot of greed. And greed is something that, um, you know, is allowed in a capitalist con con country. So if a person feels like putting on 100% or 400%, it's allowed in our country. What you have to do is you have to be mindful and, and um, look for the best deal for you. Shop around. Find out from persons where they're getting something at, at a lower price, and um, and and you don't know. forget fuel costs too, Courtney. Yeah, very and important. Yeah, when you talk about transportation and yeah. distance. Yeah, yeah, yes. transportation to take you to get the cheapest way you are at that time. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that, that that that's another part. But I believe that they need a, a price control here, mm -hmm. and when they get the the price control here is not to be the undertaking with bias because there are many times when people go and check prices uh, they, 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 even though the thing expired they say not because somebody gave them something but that's they wrong that is wrong they should they should pull uh, um things that expire they should pull them off of the shelf that is when, that is wrong but checking many supermarkets but too much things for you mm -hmm. Who can see it good and who can read one with uh, will eat something that is not valuable for the soul. Mm -hmm. So all these things that we need to um, get into because it's a question in my mind that in the BBI between U the US state, between Puerto Rico and think and think by right, St. Thomas, why the price has to be so high? And they're getting it cheap. But it's the transportation, I think, you know. The transportation, transportation cost adds to it. Transportation don't have anything to do with because the same in St. Croix when they add the stuff in is transportation. Okay. The same in Puerto Rico when they add the stuff in is transportation. But well, then we're back to what I told you before then. It's a, it has to be greed. It has to be people making more than 100% profit on one item. Well, my brother, something has to need to be done because the paycheck that we don't get can himself buy mm -hmm. a pack of chicken. Mm -hmm. Okay? Thank okay. you very much, Carla. And soon if they don't do something, there'll be famine in the land. Okay. Good night. Well, thank, thank you very you. much. Good night. All right. But there you have it, uh, Sam. That's a caller speaking about the frustrations of having to, to shop for goods and services here and realize that you know they they're not getting as a fair deal as they should be getting mm. and making some very serious comments
about how things are going as far as you know the whole business of well, well I, I think it's very important to listen to what the people are saying definitely um, I, I encourage the people them to continue to call us mm -hmm. we're gonna be back on this issue again mm -hmm. and I encourage people to start writing Yes. Um, we should have an email up sometime soon. Stay mm -hmm. tuned to JTV mm -hmm. all the time mm -hmm. for your latest news mm -hmm. so we can continue to bring them in farm mm -hmm. discussion. Mm -hmm. uh, the important thing is, 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 is people want to know, people want to talk about these things. And I could say that I remember the government running information on this. They, they're willing to sit down and listen. So this is an opportunity for, for the citizens to get with the government official and, and really pull them up to start looking at these things and see what we can do as a country to help rectify some of these issues. Yeah. Well, now we're going to have to try and do some wrapping up of the, of the show at this point. Um, we did an introduction and we, we, we wished everybody a, a happy new year for 20, 2012. We, we, um, we sort of touched a bit on the infrastructure of the territory, given some, you know, we, we were able to, um, to even, by way of a text that came in, remind persons that on the, on the dual carriageway, the highway, there are two areas that really need immediate attention. Mm -hmm. And that's the area where they, where they um, lay the underground electricity to the, Mm -hmm. to the to, to the, the to the to the traffic lights mm -hmm. and on the opposite side there in fret yard before you get to delta going east there's an area there that needs fixing as well right we will be touched a bit on food prices and we were able to talk a bit about how we think we should be going forward in 2012 as far as these food prices are concerned we know there are a number of variables in price, in the price of any good and good and service, yeah. but at the same time, we don't want to be taken for a ride. You know that one of the callers remind me that when you have hurricanes, there are some people who increase the prices as well, yes. and there are laws in some places against that. Maybe we should price look gouging at is called. price price gouging is something That's that, right. that um, we maybe right. should look at as well. Um, we were able to touch a bit on the tourism. We, you, 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 you reminded everyone about Thursday, the stakeholders meeting that will be coming up, and how we should we should support the tourism uh, industry. Tourism industry is uh, responsible for half of our budget. Oh yeah, absolutely. And we have to be mindful that uh, you know if you have something as important of that, we all should be involved in it. I every so. every last one of us. All of us. Even if you don't work directly in tourism, or you don't meet and greet tourists but it's still you know part of mm -hmm. what makes this country what it is That's and right. we should all and be concerned about that we have been affected yeah. we talked about how Portia Simpson a new governor for the, the new government for uh, for Jamaica and wish them best of luck and I definitely will be paying attention because I want to know what uh, the transition that they're going to make from being a, um, a commonwealth country to being a republic the situation in Anguilla, we didn't get to touch too much on that, but we will be, we'll be looking at that. We know that the, gov the British government refused to uh, to acknowledge the the budget, and and there's the, the maybe, really maybe I can make a suggestion that maybe uh, we can in one of our next shows we can get someone from Anguilla to give us an inside yeah, feed on we, that. we can we can look at government. that. We can look at that. So. We talked about Stay them. tuned. We talked Stay about tuned. the mighty Scatliff and we had some good dialogue via text and by a phone call about the issues with the mighty that Scatliff. One was hot. That one was hot, yeah. We we um I, I made a suggestion that everybody should know the district. I really I really think that that makes a big difference. If you let if you know your district, know what's in your district. Mm -hmm. Know who is responsible for your district. Know your five persons that you have elected to manage your district. And when you have a lot of these issues, rather than just talking about it, maybe sometimes you can go and meet with these people and express these concerns with those people as well because they're not there just to collect a salary. They're there to serve the people of the territory. That's right. Uh, we why why the why we we got to talking about the the flags at the schools a little bit as well. Um, we basically had a very good show. I just want to remind one, one thing before I forget the Frederick Douglass, Frederick Pickering um, workshop. Uh, there's a seminar? there's there's a yeah there's a seminar coming up on uh, where um, um, Jerry Farrar. 
Yeah. Will be hosting it. QC Ferrara is going to be hosting it. And mm -hmm. I think one of the, the portions college. at the H, like the South Community College in the Eileen Parson Auditorium, one of the portions that texted in a question that I didn't get to read talked about when people get married and they don't get their rights. And I think the Constitution is the exact place to talk about that issue. And I think somebody who made that point should make sure they attend that, that, um, that lecture. Mm -hmm. uh, about the uh, the Frederick Pickering um, Memorial Lecture, if they go to that, I think it would it would really think we we really at the end of the wrap up now. We had a lot of dialogue about the taxi and the problems that the taxi people are having, but we had I think, a great show, Sam. And I think uh, we, we give you a last word before we uh, we say good night, I just want to say good night to everybody. Mm -hmm. Continue to listening. Again, stay tuned to JTV for the rest of the week. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start broadcasting. Uh, uh, upcoming topics. Mm -hmm. We're going to have some interesting things to talk about. We're going to do things a little different. Mm -hmm. Courtney's talking now. Mm -hmm. So we'll have an opportunity for him and I to engage and then allow you guys to be a part of the conversation and hope that we can bring the real issues out. Whatever issues you're having, let us know about it. Email JTV, email myself, email Courtney, and that way we can have more information. When we come to these shows, we're not just talking off the top of our head. So good night to everyone. Happy New Year. I wish everyone all the best for the New Year. And please tune in. Speak your mind. Yeah, and on that note, I would just like to wish everyone a happy new year 2012 and say God bless these Virgin Islands and the people that live in it, and we'll see you again next week. Bye.